Hi guys, so let's continue this advanced algebra series here. So again, it is for for very good question, very good concept it is, right? So all this question, all these questions contains very good concepts. So one question you understand in depth and you can solve such four uh, source uh, force or five problems of such variety. Okay, so very very point these kind of questions. Okay, so let's see this question here. Is this question says that a is square by four plus b is square plus c is square by 9 is equal to a plus b plus c minus 7 by 2 where a, b, c are real numbers okay then the value of we are asking the we are being asked the value of a is square plus 4 into b is square plus c is square is what okay the value of a square plus 4 into b square plus b c square is what? Okay. This is the question here. Okay. Now, so once I look at this question, right? So what actually, what I can infer from this question here is, so basically a square by 4 plus b square plus c square by 9 we are going here. So a plus b plus c minus 2. So I can see here there is a term containing something like a is square and there is a term containing a also, right? So a square term of a and a, a, square, a square of a and a single, single power of a. Similarly, square of b and a single power of b and the square of c and a single power of c. So what I can see by such kind of question that I, I should get the hint by now that basically I need to convert it to, into a form of property squares actually. Okay. So by after that, we can get the value of a square plus 4. Basically, we have the options also here, right? So we have the options. If I try to, if you get an idea by what we're writing the options, right? So options are like 16.25. Okay. Then we have 38.75. Okay, then we have uh, 84.25, then we have 86, then we have none of these here. These are the options here, right? So that means we have to get the integer value here, okay? So after you get this idea that I need to convert in the form of perfect squares here, so how are you going to solve it, guys? So you, you can just see like this, a square by 4 plus b square plus c square by 9, okay? Now once a square by 4, plus b square plus c square by 9. So let me just try to uh, write uh, write uh, together the forms of basically card, let, uh, combine the terms of a, b and c here. So I'll write a is square by 4 minus a plus b is square minus b plus c is square minus c is equal to minus 7 by 2. Okay. And now I got to this, I got to convert this in the form of a plus b plus something like perfect square form actually okay now so you can sense it here right so if you want to just try you should be very very quick at this right you can sense here that is a square by form 4 i can write in the form of a by 2 whole square okay that's something like x square now minus y square i want here so i don't have a y square a single power means it has to be in the form of what it should be go like x square minus 2 x y plus y square will convert in the form of what x minus y whole square Okay, this is what it will convert, right? So if I if I see this here, basically, so a by 2 whole square, now minus 2, again a by 2 here, so 2, 2 will can get, get cancelled and I'm getting a here, okay? That means the y value should be actually 1. So if y value is 1, that means plus 1 would do here, right? Plus 1 square would do, that means y value should be 1 here. That means I can write simply write this in the form of what? a by 2 minus 1 whole square okay all of you should get this right i know so now we can write this in the form of what a by 2 minus 1 whole square so a by 2 minus 1 whole square plus similarly b right so b square is here so for b term what i can write here so we have got one b and this should be again 2ab right so 2 into xy so x is again b and to get a b here i need a half here that means the y value should be half now. That is b minus half whole square. Similarly, should also go like c minus half whole square. Okay. Oh, sorry, c square by 9. Okay, I've missed it right here. Yeah. Should be c square by 9 minus c. c is square by 9 minus c here. Okay. Now, look at these terms, right? Okay. So now, if you see here now, so basically now the last term how it will go like, okay. So the last term will go like, um, yeah, plus now c by 3 and again, so this first term is c by 3, 
that is x square minus 2 into x y. So you got that 2 into c by 3 here. You want to make it to c, right? So once you want to make it to c, you got to multiply with what? 3 by 2. So you got to multiply with 3 by 2 to convert it to so c, c actually. That means the y value should be 3 by 2 here. Okay. If the y value is 3 by 2 here, so let's say y value is 3 by 2 here, right? That means c by 3 minus 3 by 2 whole square. So c by 3 minus 3 by 2 whole square. Okay. This is equal to what? Minus 7 by 2. This is equal to minus 7 by 2. But here, obviously, I have added few terms here, right? So whatever I have added to the left hand side, same things I'll be adding on the right hand side. So whatever, what I've added here, I've added extra plus one year. I've added extra plus I think half a square. That means I've added one by four year. And I've added three by two square. That is I've added nine by four year. So nine by four plus one by four is 10 by four plus one. That is 14 by four, that is seven by two. So seven by two I've added this side. So seven by two I'll add this side also. And now it converts to a beautiful question here. Okay, because this terms has become zero. And now it is actually sum of three perfect square is zero. That means a by two minus one whole square plus b minus half whole square plus c by three minus three by two whole square is equal to zero. Sum of three perfect square is zero. Perfect square any I know that any perfect square any perfect square will always be greater than or equal to zero. So any perfect square will always be greater than or equal to zero, right? So in this case, what I can get here is the sum of three perfect square is zero. That means all has to be zero. So that means if a by two minus one is zero, that means a, a is equal to two. B minus half is zero. That means B is equal to half. And C by three minus three by two is zero. That means C is equal to nine by two. Okay. So I was supposed to calculate the value of this part, right? This part I was, I was supposed to get the value of this part here. Okay. So what is the value of this part now is the value actually comes like this. Now you can see here a is square plus four into b is square plus c is square. That is a is square is two is square. That is four plus four into b is square plus c is square. That is one by four plus 81 by four. One by four plus 81 by four here. Okay. So now what I'm getting here is that 82 by 4 is 40, 82 by 4, so 4 into 82 here. So 4, uh, I'm getting here uh, 4 into, this 4 will get cancelled actually. So 82 and this 4 will get cancelled. So 2 is square plus 82, that is equal to 86. So 86 is the answer for this question. Right, so it could be a t-type question also. It could be an option-based question also. Okay.